Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do an update on a video I did a while back on the importance of learning animation, especially in Unreal Engine and Unreal Editor for Fortnite. In that previous video, I had said that there were basically three types of animations. I said there was motion capture, pre-recorded animations, and hand animations or keyframed animations. But later I realized that the pre-recorded animations you get from Mixamo are really just motion capture animation. They really are a subcategory of motion capture. A lot of the animations that you can buy already made were either done keyframed or motion capture. So, but most likely they're done motion capture. So there's really those two categories. But then in thinking about this, and because I'm so involved with Unreal Engine, I've really been thinking a lot about character animation and how that is its own animal and it's unique to game engines. But I think it has the potential for revolutionizing how we use animation to tell stories. So instead of using motion capture or keyframe animations, we could be using player character animations. But the one thing that all these different types of animations share in common is that they're all difficult. They all have their pros and cons. So there's no one right solution. Motion capture is good because it allows you to capture a wide range of complex behaviors in one take but then it's expensive and it can be a house with a setup and then you still have to clean it up sometimes. Keyframe animation is less expensive but it takes a lot of time to do and it might be expensive if you're paying someone to do it. So then we have this animal, this player character animation and why might that be the way to go? How could this revolutionize things? Let's talk about that. I mean, player character animations if you think about it, the most basic behaviors are already programmed in. All the major general movements like walking, jumping, running, turning, idle standing, swaying, spinning around, sliding. There's a whole range of behaviors and they're unlimited. Like your player character can just go and go and go and go and go. Literally, you could have your character walking for three hours. And if you imagine, how would you capture that with motion capture? How would you do that? How would you do that with keyframed animation? It would be a challenge, I'm sure. So we have the most basic behaviors already programmed in. The only issue is we need the player to do more than just that. Well, then that doesn't rule out the other options. We, what we can do is bring in animation sequences for those specific behaviors that we're missing, like grabbing something, touching something, reaching, sitting, drinking a cup of coffee whatever it is, we can bring those behaviors in, those specific behaviors in as needed and supplement the most basic behaviors we already have. So in other words, the global behaviors are already there. It's just the specific behaviors that we need. And we could bring those in in any number of ways. The question then becomes, well, how does this play out? What does this really look like in Unreal Engine or Unreal Editor? So, well, we already have the basic character movements given to us. And with motion matching, it's getting even better. It's like fantastic now. And so the question is, I just need to bring in then for my short animated film or maybe even my movie, all I need to bring in is the specific behaviors that I'm missing. In Unreal Editor, they call those emotes or animation sequences. And in Unreal Engine, we have animation blueprints, montages, and sequences where we can bring in those specific behaviors that we're looking for. And we can get those maybe from Mixamo, or maybe we could contract and get those done motion capture. Or maybe if it's just a limited behavior, we might even be able to keyframe those in. So then we can use the other methods to fill in this, but then we end up with a story, a fully animated character that would be difficult to do either keyframed or with motion capture. So. Let me just go into Fortnite for a second here. So I'm in this world right now, and here's my player character. And look, how long would this take for me? Well, oh, there's a problem in the neighborhood here. Uh, might have to take care of this real fast. Okay, well, I don't know. Okay, so anyway, peace has been restored to the neighborhood. You know, all these behaviors, like opening the door even. If you look, see how that behavior is programmed in? Just that one little behavior that I needed. The opening and closing the door. But then the general behaviors are there. Jumping. Looking this way. And notice how the body kind of tilts when I'm walking. I don't know if you can see that. But I can turn, stop, idle, jump run, I believe I can slide. It's just all these behaviors are already there for me. This would be a great way to be able to get the animation I needed for a short film. 
the only issue is I just need to bring in those supplemental behaviors as needed. So I honestly believe that character player animation might just very well be the way to go for making animated short films. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing more tutorials kind of in that direction. I'm going to be showing you how you can use other programs to get these specific behaviors out and then using Unreal Engine to then implement those specific behaviors as needed. I just wanted to give you this quick update on animation. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.